NAQT, National Academic Quiz Tournaments. NAQT extends a warm greeting to all teams preparing to attend our 2021 National Championship Tournaments. Championship season is always our most wonderful time of year, and we're excited that you'll be joining us for our online championship events. This video will help prepare teams who are registered for our intercollegiate championship tournament or for the small school, middle school, or high school national championship tournaments. We want to express our gratitude for your continued participation and wish the best of luck to everyone as you get ready to compete. In order to establish a reasonable competitive environment for all participants, NAQT has established equipment requirements for players at its 2021 National Championship Tournaments. These requirements are mandatory. Players not meeting these standards will not be permitted to compete. Each player must use a computer with a webcam, which may be either internal or external. NAQT strongly recommends that players use desktop or full-featured laptop computers. Tablet computers and Chromebooks are not prohibited, but full-featured laptop or desktop computers ensure better video and audio quality during matches. Each player's computer must be connected to the Internet. NAQT strongly recommends a connection that provides at least 2.5 megabits per second of bandwidth, both upstream and downstream. Quick and free speed tests are available at speedtest.net. Where these speeds or stable connections can't be obtained on wireless connections, NAQT suggests using a hardline connection to your Internet access point using an Ethernet cable. Even a long cable can provide very good connections. For computers without an Ethernet port, USB to Ethernet adapters are inexpensive and easily available. Finally, players must use a headset, headphones, or earbuds during gameplay. NAQT strongly recommends that players use either a headset with an integrated microphone or a separate external microphone, rather than relying on the computer's internal microphone. A lightweight headset like those provided with mobile phones with an inline microphone will work. Earbuds or headphones may be used, but the use of external or internal speakers is prohibited. Although this is not NAQT's preferred arrangement, teams are permitted to play from a single location with all players sharing one computer. All players' faces and both hands must be visible on the camera feed and all player discussions must be audible. Players must have name cards consisting of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper folded along its length as a tent with large dark ink letters that extend the full height of the folded sheet. Computer generated and handwritten lettering with thick marker are both acceptable. These name cards must be clearly visible on camera. Teams that use this option are responsible for controlling background noise at their location. If they must be muted so that other participants can hear the questions, they are responsible for having a method to operate Zoom's push-to-talk feature. Computer speakers may be used in this configuration. In addition, an external microphone extending to the player's desk is strongly recommended. NAQT's 2021 National Championships will be played over Zoom using buzzin.live as the player's signaling device. Zoom is a free-to-use meeting application, which will not require players, coaches, or spectators to create an account. Participants should make use of Zoom's native client applications for your computer. While Zoom does have a browser-based option, Connections in the Zoom browser client are both less stable and more prone to garbled audio than the native clients and should not be used. The Zoom client for your device can be found at zoom.us slash download. Zoom provides a free, on-demand test meeting service that will allow players to test their computer's video and audio connection to Zoom's servers. Visit zoom.us slash test. And AQT strongly recommends that all players connect to the test meeting using the computer, 
webcam, audio equipment, and internet connection, which they will use for the tournament to ensure that Zoom works correctly on their devices. And we request that coaches ensure their players have done this. NAQT also encourages each coach to perform a more comprehensive test by creating a free meeting at zoom.us and connecting all players to that meeting to ensure that all players can be seen and heard clearly and can hear a moderator and their teammates clearly. Coaches will need to create a free account to start a meeting. After creating an account, choose Host a Meeting, then with Video On. For each game, a link to a Zoom meeting will be provided on the tournament schedule and or by the moderator at the end of the previous game. During 2021 NAQT National Championships, players will signal on toss-up questions using BuzzIn.Live, an online buzzer system. BuzzIn.Live works in the browser of a computer, tablet, or smartphone with no download or account required. Players may have BuzzIn.Live open on the same computer as Zoom or on a separate device. Either is acceptable. To test BuzzIn.Live on the device you plan to use during the tournament, go to BuzzIn.Live on a different device. Then click Create Game and choose Free Tier and Create. At the top of the screen, a game code will be displayed. Then, on the device to be used during the tournament, visit buzzin.live and choose Join Game. Then enter the game code for the game you created and enter your nickname in the nickname field, then click Join. You'll be able to buzz in and see the resulting buzz on the other device. As with Zoom, Coaches should ensure that all players have tested BuzzIn.Live on their devices, and we encourage coaches to create a BuzzIn.Live session for their whole team during a Zoom meeting and practice playing Quiz Bowl under the conditions NAQT will use during National Championship gameplay. For each game during the championship, a BuzzIn.Live code will be provided by the moderator or scorekeeper in the Zoom game room. During gameplay at NAQT's national championships, there are specific ways that players, chaperones, coaches, and spectators should configure their software. Both Zoom and BuzzIn.Live require a name that will be shown to other users. Zoom calls this a display name, while BuzzIn.Live calls it a nickname. During tournaments, all players, coaches, chaperones, alternates, and spectators must use a specific format for this name. Each team will be assigned a four-character team identifier, which it will use throughout the tournament. Players will use a name consisting of square brackets surrounding the team identifier, followed by the player's first and last name. Alternates, that is, rostered players who are not currently one of the four players in the game, should add a hyphen and the letters ALT after the team identifier, again followed by first and last name. When an alternate becomes a player, or vice versa, their names in Zoom and BuzzIn.Live must be updated accordingly. Coaches should similarly add hyphen CO after the team identifier, and chaperones who are not coaches should add hyphen CH. Spectators affiliated with a team should use that team's ID with hyphen SP and their full name. Spectators are certainly encouraged to log in to Zoom and watch the matches, but they should not log in to BuzzIn.Live. On BuzzIn.Live, only the first 16 characters of the nickname will be displayed. Participants should simply use the first 16 characters of their correctly formatted display name, omitting any extra characters. If you use Zoom without an account, you will be prompted for a display name when you join a meeting. Enter the correct display name and choose Remember My Name for Future Meetings to make that your default display name. If you use an account, Zoom defaults its display name to the full name you used when registering. To avoid needing to change the display name when entering each new game room, participants may log out of their Zoom accounts and use the method previously described, or they may update their default display name. To do this, visit zoom.us profile, 
or click My Account from the Zoom homepage. Once there, click Edit next to your name, enter the correct display name in the Display Name field, and choose Save Changes. To change Zoom display names while logged into a meeting, select Participants from the menu at the bottom of the screen. Click on Yourself in the list of participants, choose More, and choose Rename. Then, update your display name. To set your nickname in buzzin.live, type in the Nickname field when entering the room. Any characters that don't fit may be omitted. To change your nickname, leave the room and re-enter with the same game code, choosing the new nickname as you do so. Players must be visible on camera at all times during gameplay. There should be no red slash through your camera in the bottom menu on Zoom, and you should be able to see an image of yourself in the meeting. If your camera is turned off, you will see a red slash. Click the camera icon to activate your video feed. Zoom and BuzzIn.Live are the only windows that may be open on the player's computer. If a player chooses to use a phone as a buzzer, only BuzzIn.Live may be active on their phone, and the phone's Do Not Disturb feature must be active. Players' video feeds must be on at all times. If video is lost, a player will not be permitted to participate until it is fixed. Online tournament rules permit substitutions at the discretion of the moderator when a player's video is lost. Additionally, players must either be using a headset or a noise-filtering external microphone or use Zoom's built-in push-to-talk feature. Said another way, players not using a headset or external microphone must keep their audio muted and push a key to speak. The default key for Zoom Push to Talk is the spacebar. Zoom Chat must not be selected for Push to Talk to function. Players, alternates, coaches, chaperones, and spectators are prohibited from recording NAQT National Championship gameplay and discussing question content with anyone who is not in the room for the game in question. NAQT's online national championships will be played under NAQT's published game rules as modified for online Quiz Bowl. A complete description of these changes is available in the Online Tournament Guides, Rules and Policies section. You can read the guide at naqt.com online. Here are summaries of the modifications to the rules that NAQT has made for online play. Games in online championships will consist of two halves comprising 10 toss-up bonus cycles each. Overtime rules are unchanged. Online Quiz Bowl makes it difficult to tell when a bonus part answer is being directed at the moderator. To alleviate this issue, NAQT's online rules require that the player answering a bonus question part for their team begin the answer by clearly stating, Our answer is... That is, if the team wishes to answer with George Washington, the player giving the answer must say, Our answer is George Washington. It is important that teams use this phrase before the rest of the answer. While the moderator still possesses the unprotestable authority to interpret an answer without this phrase as being the team's answer if they believe it to be unambiguously intended as such, Teams should always begin their answers with Our Answer Is, so that no uncertainty about the team's answer exists. After reading each part of a bonus question, the moderator will wait four seconds before asking the team to begin its answer. This is unchanged from in-person quiz bowl. However, during matches at NAQT's online championships, the moderator will allow three additional seconds in which to begin an answer. For the purposes of timing, the answer will be considered to begin when the team begins to say, Our answer is. As with any answer, a pause of one second will end the answer. Note that the toss-up question timing has not changed. Players still have three seconds to signal after the question has been completed and two seconds after signaling in which to begin an answer. Players are encouraged to confer on bonus questions verbally. 
However, it is permissible for teams to confer on bonus questions by text, as long as it is in Zoom chat sent to everyone so that all participants can see it. Private communication not visible to all participants is prohibited while the game is active. This includes private Zoom chat messages, Discord servers, whether public or private, text messages, social media interactions, and any other form of communication. Additionally, this restriction applies to private communication with any person, whether or not they are a participant in the game, in the tournament, or in Quiz Bowl in general. Players may communicate in private with other participants while the game is stopped. For example, coaches may conference privately with their players at halftime. Ordinarily, answers must be given verbally using Zoom's audio connection. However, if a moderator is unable to hear or interpret the answer being provided by a player, the moderator may decide that the player should type an answer in Zoom chat. Only the moderator may make this judgment. A player may not request it. A moderator's judgment as to whether an answer should be typed and as to misspellings and typos in the typed answer is final and is not protestable. If a player's connection drops or if the moderator determines that the player's connection quality makes it impossible for them to participate in the game, the moderator will stop the game at the conclusion of the current toss-up bonus cycle. The moderator will allow one minute for the player to rectify the situation. The player may then re-enter if they are able. If the player is not able to do so, then the moderator will allow either team to make substitutions. If the player's drop occurs after having signaled on a toss-up, this will be treated as an incorrect answer. The moderator has sole authority to determine if a player's connection makes it impossible to participate. This determination is not protestable. If a player's connection drops and they were not replaced, then once the player's issue is resolved, that player will become active again at the start of the next toss-up bonus cycle. No timeout will be charged, and no additional substitutions will be permitted. However, if the player was replaced by an alternate, that player may not re-enter the game until the next normal substitution opportunity. If, during a bonus question, a team is unable to hear part or all of the question part being asked due to audio quality issues, that team may request that the current bonus part be re-read. The request must be made prior to the team giving its official answer and before being asked to begin the answer by the moderator. The first such request per team in each game will always be honored. Additional requests are at the moderator's discretion. On a toss-up question, neither team may request a rereading due to audio quality. But the moderator may reread part or all of a toss-up if, in their sole judgment, a technical issue or other error prevented part or all of the question from being transmitted in a comprehensible form to the players. This determination, which is not protestable, must be made before either team has signaled and only if the moderator has a specific reason to suspect the issue, such as being muted or having dropped their connection. Players' assertions alone are not sufficient. Protests regarding network issues, including but not limited to audio quality problems and latency and its handling by Buzzin.Live, are not permitted and will not be entertained. At some championships, games will be power matched. That is, they will be arranged so that each team is always playing an opponent with the same or a very similar record. Those who have attended previous NAQT championships may be familiar with this as the card system. This arrangement keeps games close and exciting, but it also means that teams' schedules are not known in advance. Before a tournament using this system, each team will be given the Zoom link for its first game and a virtual card number via the online schedule. That card number will not reflect that team's schedule for the whole day. At the end of each game, the staff will give each team its new card number, which may or may not be different, and the Zoom meeting information for the team's next game. The online schedule will also update with this information. 
teams may also be given a watchword, a random word uniquely assigned to a given team for a specific round. This word serves as a means of verifying that the correct teams are in the next game room for the next round. If applicable, record the watchword and provide it on request to staff in the next game room. Additional details on the power matching system will be provided for each national championship that uses one. Prior to the tournament, all participants should have installed and tested the Zoom client application for their device and tested BuzzIn.Live on the device they plan to use as a buzzer. In the days preceding the tournament, NAQT will publish a schedule for the tournament. This schedule will provide you with a Zoom game room link for each game. The schedule may cover all of the preliminary games or just the first game. Please read your specific schedule carefully and ensure you understand what it covers. Coaches or chaperones should have a pre-arranged way to communicate with their players and any spectators. Before the tournament begins, coaches or chaperones should make sure that everyone has the correct Zoom link from the schedule for the first game of the day. No later than five minutes prior to the start of the first game, all players and coaches should open the Zoom meeting for their first game using the link from the schedule and using the correct display name. All NAQT Zoom meetings will make use of a waiting room to control access to the game room. The moderator will admit participants from the waiting room into the main meeting and readmit participants if their connection drops. Players should have their video active. With a headset, audio should be unmuted. Without a headset, audio must be muted. Push the spacebar to talk if you are muted. Alternates, coaches, chaperones, and spectators should have video active, but audio muted. Teams playing from a single location using a shared computer should have name tags set up with camera and audio active. The staff will provide a game code for buzzin.live via Zoom chat and all players should join the room. Alternates and coaches may also join, but spectators should not. Examples of correct display names for the nickname field are shown here. Once the game begins, it will work just as NAQT Quiz Bowl always has. Players will signal using buzzin.live and be recognized by the moderator. Since the moderator cannot meaningfully gesture or look at players, moderators will recognize players by name. While players will be recognized by name, a player who has signaled may still begin an answer before being recognized. Teams will confer and answer bonus questions, remembering always to begin bonus answers with the phrase, Our answer is. When the game ends, if the tournament is power matched, the moderator or scorekeeper will provide each team information about their next game. Using this, or using the preset online schedule if the tournament is not power matched, teams should leave the Zoom meeting and buzzin.live room and open the meeting link for their next game. Subsequent games in the tournament will follow much the same process. At times, staff may pass along information such as schedule updates, instructions for playoffs or other phases of the tournament, or other information. Please abide by any instructions provided. Coaches and chaperones are responsible for making sure that all players, alternates, and spectators have the information they need. If at any time a participant becomes lost and doesn't know where they need to be, an atrium will be provided in the form of a standalone Zoom meeting. There, players and coaches can receive assistance in determining what Zoom meeting they should be in or in solving technical problems that arise during the tournament. Finally, please watch your email. Before your tournament begins, information will be provided including schedules, the format for your championship, and the Zoom link for the atrium where you can get help. We hope that this spring's NAQT National Championships will be exciting, engaging, memorable, and fun for all of our participants. Have a great spring, and we'll see you for Toss-Up 1.